there guys what is happening welcome back to another video yes i know you can't see me that is not the point this video why am i doing it you ask if you have not seen my video where i talk about why an old youtube channel i was on called ryan and asher vlogs ended then you are probably not going to know this guy. This, my friends, is Ryan Stannard on his channel, Ryan Stannard's Crazy Life. As you can see, he has 336 subscribers. Good for you. Now, this is his second live stream that he did yesterday. At time of recording, he did it 12 hours ago. I'm not going to lie, I was passed out at this point because I had recorded a podcast really late at night last night. If you have not yet gone and checked out my um, podcast, Reckless Comedy, uh, you can find it on Spotify quite recently. Uh, well, the episode I recorded last night and then edited and got released within a seven hour gap. And it took me three and a half hours to put the fucking thing together. Yeah, sorry. You can find it on Spotify, Anchor.fm, Soundtrap. If you're in the US, you can find it on Castbox, and eventually it will go on iTunes. Eventually, but yes, please go check out my podcast, Reckless Comedy. Uh, we've got a really special episode free, and I'm hoping to get maybe a few of my vlog stars on in the future. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, why am I talking about Ryan again? Because of this live stream called Stop It YouTube. Now, oh, let me let me just give you a little bit of backstory. Since 2020, well, obviously Ryan's uh, Crazy Life channel has been going since 2019, but ever since sort of end of 2019, early 2020, YouTube for some reason has randomly started stopping his live streams and ending them for no reason. Now there's been several reasons what what from what I've been told that they keep taking the stream down. The first one is copyright. Now according to Ryan, when they've taken it down for copyright, there hasn't been anything that's copyright infringing during it. So no music or or no like audio or anything or no video that is actually breaking YouTube's copyright or what what would normally be classed as YouTube's copyright. The other one is that it randomly gets deleted because it apparently breaks terms of service on YouTube. Now the terms of service is a very different uh, issue altogether as some of the most experienced YouTubers will know YouTube can be a bitch at the best of times. And for those who have been on YouTube, maybe since 2017, when me and Ryan burst into the platform, is um, you will know that since probably late 2018, early 2019, YouTube has been broken. It's been broken for about a year and a half now, year and a half, almost two years. And YouTube is not what it should be anymore. YouTube is not... For some people, YouTube is not fun. Um, but as you may remember a few months ago, Ryan did a video when there was a trending sort of hashtag going around on all social medias. And that trending hashtag was this. YouTube versus Storyfire. If you do not know what Storyfire is, best way to put it, it's a better version of YouTube and it's easier for people to get monetized on. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, and when Ryan released this video in January 2020, a lot of people thought that I would move the Storyfire. Because anyone who knows me personally knows how much I would love to be monetized on YouTube and how much I'd love to be making making money off videos that I make. 
unfortunately, loads of people, you know, are surprised I haven't moved to Storyfire, but there's a reason why I've not moved to Storyfire and quit YouTube. It's because of the platform that I've made a huge part of my life. YouTube has become a huge part of my life. It's been a huge part of my life for the last over three years, since 2017. Well, actually, no. YouTube has been a part of my life, a huge part of my life for the last five years. And it's hard to step back from something that, um, that I've gotten so used to logging on to every single day, even when I were back at school. The first thing I'd do if I got on a computer would be to check YouTube. And here I am now, being able to make content that over 350 of you enjoy. Or I should hope you enjoy. But whether you enjoy it or not, that's not the case in this video. Ryan has said on multiple occasions that he was going to be moving the story fire. He even said that around about this time this year he would be on story fire and he would be big. He would be making hundreds of his videos. I don't want to sound like um a bit of a cunt, but you're still here, mate. Now, I know there's some people who are fans of me and Ryan, and they always keep saying that Ryan's always going to overtake me. I don't give a fuck if he overtakes me in subscribers. I really do not care, because I'll be totally honest, and I know that, Ryan, you are watching this, and I know you are not going to like what I'm about to say, before I say what I'm about to say, my last video, where I talked about Ryan and Asher vlogs, Ryan flagged it in an attempt to get it taken down. Now, him flagging that video, and I know this is gonna make me sound like a cunt, but when I released that video, I, he claimed it to be me using his name for views, which is not the case. It was a case of answering a question which I, I had been constantly asked for the last two or three months. Well, three to four months. And it's about time that people saw my side of the story and my opinion. Ryan flagging that video is pretty much flagging my own opinion. So Ryan flagging that video in, in the case wanting to get the video down there's no point, okay? Those who don't know about YouTube at the moment, because of the coronavirus and all this shit, sorry I keep mentioning it in a video, but it's just a way of life at the moment, is that, of course, we've had to, you know, there's not many people working at YouTube. So the flagging situation is all done automatically. So Ryan attempting to flag the video, it's not going to work because the system, it has to be done manually for it to be taken down. If you do it automatically, it will just stay up. So he doesn't want the video up. It's going to stay up because it's my opinion. And if you don't like it, simple. And that goes for anyone else. If you don't like an opinion of someone, don't flag it. Just walk away. Walk away from the situation. But yeah. Ryan versus Storyfire. What I was going to say is that Ryan isn't real on Facebook. Uh, not Facebook. YouTube anymore. He's he's doing it for the clout. He's doing it. He's gone. YouTube's gone to his head. Now, this is something I know this may sound like me sa sounding like a complete and utter dick, but 2018... When I started getting big on YouTube, I let the fame go to my head. And it caused me to be, from, the, from November 2018, all the way through until November 2019, I became the biggest cunt 
in not just my YouTube life, but in my personal life as well. I let things go to my head. It ruined friendships. It ruined, it ruined a lot of things and it ruined opportunities that really could have popped up. Any opportunity that would come my way while I was in this big headed thing, um, I would turn down if, if I didn't think it's going to get me a load of views back then. But now I am open to every opportunity that comes my way, whether it's big, small, whether it's a small sponsorship or a big, I don't know, or something huge that will change it. I've, I'm back to where I was pre scare season 2018, making videos. Yes, I make quite a few videos, but I'm back down level headed. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm trying not to put on a fake thing. And especially during this time, you don't need people being fake. And I am literally, I'm, this is the last bit I'm going to talk about with Ryan before we get into the actual subject of the video. I'm going to make this extremely clear. During this whole period, and even, even since the start, pretty much since Ryan started his channel, he is back with Ryan and National Vlogs. He was level-headed, but he was also starting to let the fame go to his head. Uh, he, well, he did. He let the fame go to his head for a while. Then he came back and, made, and started being level-headed again. And then he let the fame go to his head. And then he, because the fame had gone to his head and he saw he wasn't going anywhere, he lost interest. And then that's when Brian and Asher Vlogs ended. And here now, the fame has gone back to his head again. And it was the same when uh, Ryan Stanard's Crazy Life started up. Because he knew that Ali Law and all these people were getting big views from doing stuff. You know, and here he is now. He's gone back to what he was, uploading random shit every day, not having an idea, just literally up. Don't get me wrong, some of his cinematic stuff and some of his vlogs are all right, but look, there's certain videos on here. You know, like, yes, when I roasted Tyler's vlogs, all I asked was Ryan to give his side of the story. Now, when he gave his side of the story, I did not mean for you to upload it on, onto your channel. I asked you to send it privately so I could put it in the video. He also tried adding into trends, you know, so like uh, Avicii's, uh, anniversary of his passing he used that to try and get uh, views up it didn't work again and doing videos like trying to get viral I know this is making me sound like a cunt and I hate that I'm having to do this But it has to be said, Ryan is no longer real on YouTube anymore. He's uploaded videos which I don't think should even be up. For example, there's pictures of him drinking alcohol, which is not suitable on YouTube. And if he, uh, Ryan, I know you're going to hate this, but if you think you're going to get monetized, I am actually going to be doing a video soon, going through, going through me and Ryan's his channels, and saying what and giving my predictions on what I think will be monetized and what to stop at YouTube. All right, so before this is what Ryan has said on his live stream over 12 hours ago. This is why no one likes your damn platform anymore. If you keep on doing this unnecessary stopping of people's streams and it starts to really get on my nerves like can I just not do a stream without you guys 
fucking me. Unnecessary, right? The stream he's on about this, and YouTube has to give a reason to why it got taken down. This is what they said. This video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service, meaning you've done something that YouTube don't want people to see. Now, obviously, I didn't see the stream, so I don't know what had been said or what happened. But this is what YouTube's term of service says about live streams. So this is what YouTube's terms say about live streams. So your, live, your channel's live streaming ability will be turned off automatically for the following reasons. A, your channel gets a community guideline strike. B, your live streams or archived live stream is blocked globally. C, your live stream or archived live stream gets a copyright takedown. Or D, your live stream matches another copyrighted live broadcast. Another thing it also says is, this is from YouTube, we will also remove live streams that show someone holding, handling, transporting a firearm. Now, unless YouTube think an Xbox controller is a firearm, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see on that page, it doesn't really answer the question to why YouTube has removed Ryan's streams. But we will find an answer, have an answer to why Ryan's streams have been taken down. And it's all to do with this article. Copyright issues with live streams and hangouts on air. Let me explain from the start. So all live broadcasts are scanned for matches for third party content, including copyright content in the form of a lower live broadcast like a sporting event. Now Ryan in a lot of his streams does play FIFA and GTA. I personally think the reason why your streams get taken down is because you're playing GTA and there is even the smallest amount of audio you're getting taken down. If the third party content remains in your broadcast, your live stream will be temporarily interrupted or terminated, meaning you are breaking a copyright law on YouTube. And that will explain to why your video is being removed for YouTube terms of service. So Ryan, don't take this the wrong way, but you blaming YouTube for taking your stream down unnecessarily because you think you haven't done something wrong is a lie. You, you are breaking YouTube's rules. You know, you are breaking YouTube's rules by switching some sort of content which isn't owned by YouTube. Or you're going to continue getting these streams terminated. So if anything, you might want to rethink about doing live streams. Okay, that's the end of this video, guys. Sorry, it's a bit of a long one. Um, talking about live streams, uh, I'm as of next week or as of from this week onwards, as of 18th of May, I will be doing a stream every Saturday. I'll be doing a, one, well, not every Saturday, but one stream a week here on the channel, obviously because I, uh, I'm using a software called OBS, so I'll be doing um, live streams on there. So keep an eye out on my community page as I announce them. Also, please support my uh, podcast. It would really help if you could share it around because just to tell you how big this podcast is, look at where we're being watched. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are being listened to in, U in the UK, United States, Canada, and now Australia. So we are worldwide on this podcast. So please stream it. Like 63% of my audience are streaming it on Anchor with 37 on Spotify. So please go give it a listen. It'll be fun. And it's also, uh, our, the latest episode is about, is over an hour of me talking to an American actor. So why not? If you want to hear some fun, uh, have fun for an hour. Most episodes are recorded for about an hour to an hour and a half. And I'd normally edit it down between 40 minutes to up to an hour and 10.
So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and let's get this channel to 400 subscribers because we are 50 away from 400 now. Thank you very much, everyone. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. Stay safe, everyone, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Have a good one.